Right, I um, I have a I've written a special intro for you've this one. You've written an intro, right? Right. Yeah. Um, consider because I normally just say hello, but uh, as we're doing uh, the American football film any given Sunday, okay. <laughs> Blue 42, blue 42, cuts, cuts. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yes. <laughs> Why blue, did they do blue, that? Did you say blue 32? Blue 42. Would have been 32. It would have been the exact episode wrong. My God. Oof. It, why do they do that? It's only like a, a general, like, like a, a, it depends. It can be just a signal for one person to move uh, along uh, the line right. or... If you're reading the thing, like sometimes they stamp their back foot. That means one player goes on motion at the back. Ah, so it's always a direction. And I take it that the color they use is always going to be whatever color they are. No. Or could they be talking about the opponent? They talk about the opponent sometimes. Also, like, uh, like that's just like a, sometimes the, the blue fur here or the hut is just to snap the ball to him. Aye. But like, it, it really changes. Sometimes they, they have to change it up every game because they, they would just learn the signals. Aye. You know, you can't just blue, blue 32 and make the exact same play every... Yeah, 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 every, yeah. Otherwise, people are like, great, I know exactly yeah. where everybody's going. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of this because you're an you're NFL spe- uh, yeah, yeah. specialist and expert. Well, if, I tell you one thing, uh, the very, very start, when he, when the quarterback gets injured, the, the cheerleader took a knee. In this film, which is one of the funniest things I've wow. ever seen. The cheerleader went down in this film when <laughs> we've just lost Dennis Quaid. Um, yeah, we're doing any given Sunday. Yeah. Um, but before we get to that, uh, we bit, might as well do our pre-game chat. Pre-game chat, yeah. yeah. Locker room. No, you had you had something to tell us because when you were sorting out the mics. My mum was like, uh, oh, like, you know, the, you were... You were too loud in one episode and two things. Your the levels were off in both your mics, and I was like, "All right, Mary, I don't know." And she goes, "She listens to it sometimes randomly." She goes, "Play it." She has the Alexa, so she she goes, "Play absolute cuts," and she's like, "Ah, oh. she she has it on when she's working." So she goes, "I barely I tune in and out. Sometimes I hear you chatting with someone stupid," and I was like, "Oh, this is great." Oh God, I was like, I was like, we've said some horrific shit. She goes, "I know, I love it. It's so funny." But we said some horrific shit about your mum. Yeah, well, yeah, she well, loves I it. I have. Yeah, oh, I know she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing your mum loves. It is it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, you you got all. You just got slightly uncomfortable and then just doubled down. Yeah, I know. I know. I did. I no, that's great. <laughs> Day, yeah, she was like, uh, I still get on sometimes, but she's well, well behind half the time. Then she's just like, I'm on. I just remember we were watching The Rock one day, and I was like, Oh, fuck, Hi, that's well early. I was like, Hey, I think she goes, I think she randomly listens to them all over the place. I don't think ah, she right, oh well, yeah, no. fair dues, fair dues to her, fair dues to them. Um, we've put the backdrop up again, yeah. By but we've doubled up in cell tape this time, doubled up in cell tape, and so slightly more to the right. It shouldn't happen. Because I don't think the joke would be as funny the second time if it collapsed. No, no, it won't be at all. It was barely funny the first time. That's very, very true. <laughs> it's because I thought it was going to comically come down over me like a fucking mid bit. Yeah. But really, it just slowly, it just slowly softly, deflated. and too slowly. Yeah. And I don't even think they, it, the mics picked up the, the crackling that we were hearing. Like a no, shh, no. Which would have been funnier. That would have. But all, I mean, generally all we heard was small, small bits of tape. Slowly. slowly coming away from a wall yeah 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 it's like you you know you can see the lights coming from like before you get hit by a car what i've been hit by a lot of cars in my time right. had, I'm, on, I'm on seven right uh-huh. but like a lot of times if it's at night you'll see the lights if it's coming from behind you and hits you from behind you'll see the lights hitting like going past you all oh, right okay so that was like that you're like oh i'm about to get hit by a car because you can see the lights coming but then do you not jump out the way well, usually, what do you think it was? It's usually too late. Two guys with a torch. <laughs> it's usually too late. But why are they coming to hit you from behind? <laughs> we, we don't know. We hit and run. I I I, most of mine were in, nearly all of them are low speed. Uh-huh. You know, like you rolled a bonnet. But why have they hit you? You, just, can't, they can't, you can't have been hit that amount of times by a hit and run. No, no, no. It definitely wasn't. It was just either me stepping out or... Or ah, them right. doing a few of them are their fault. Most of them are mine. So you step, just step out in front of cars? <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> it was a real bad thing about 10 years ago. Most of them were in like a very short period. It was about like, say, I was about, I say five of them were in a year. 
Jesus Christ. What was the worst injury you got from? Nothing, fuck all. Rolled Nothing. over, roll, like sore for weeks or whatever, maybe. Like sore shoulders or whatever. Wow. Mind you, I did go to the gym once, at gym once and the guy was just like, have you had some, you know when you do like the trial, if you join a gym, yeah. you go to trial and he was just like, have you had massive trauma on your left shoulder? And I was like, nah. And he goes, well, you have. Yeah. <laughs> You say no? When, when was that from? And I was like, God, I have no idea. And then in my head, I was like, Well, I have been in, in two big car crashes. I've been hit by seven cars. I'm generally reckless. With it could have been a lot of places. Fucking hell! If I talked about the time I knocked over a guy in this podcast, yeah. Did you mention it when when I told you Hugo Duncan ran over my dad? I don't even remember Hugo Duncan. He's a Northern Irish celebrity. Right, if I have, apologies, but. I imagine this is what... I, surely podcasts must get like this. Like, they have a Word Boys, Sloss and that, and Humphreys, and they must go... I don't know if we've ever told this story before. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're fucking yeah. 300 episodes deep. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People always... I always do. I definitely do it all the time. Aye. Like, but yeah, there was a junkie guy that I ran over. Yeah, what? Is dead? No, he's not dead. Well, he How? probably is now, but uh, <laughs> it wasn't by my hand. <laughs> Or my bonnet. Um, <laughs> By my wheels. But I was just driving back and um guy stepped out of the curb and I ran into him. Did he, go, did he roll or did he go under? No, he rolled straight off. I, I, it, it, I, that's the thing. You can't, yeah, I always think that, I used to always think, oh, sure, I, I would just jump. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah, it, it yeah. would send me flying, but I'm not, it would just more clean me rather than aye, hit aye. me. And then like, but yeah, that doesn't really happen. Aye. You do roll. I think you do enough that you roll the bonnet. Like, yeah. I've never went under, obviously. Aye, 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 aye. I've went under every time. <laughs> do you think, I wonder what, I, I remember, I got a, I was crossing the street in London once and a guy with a bike hit me and it hurt him a lot more than it hurt me. Oh, Christ. Yeah. I think, I think, I don't know. I think the speed that he was coming at, I mean, it was completely my fault. I was and also, totally pissed and I was just crossing the road and he was bombing down and I just went for it and he, he crashed into me, but went fucking flying and I be, barely but well that's you, if you if the masseuse from the last episode was anything to go by you are <laughs> yeah, exactly. the least flexible yeah, man yeah yeah the the most run, solid man try and run into me yeah, and yeah, yeah. cycling prick <laughs> it was basically just when Hellboy steps in front of the train just caves in around them or the, the the lorry I'm quite obsessed with uh, cycling stuff on Twitter oh fuck me yeah they get real Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! I, yeah, it's just like it's. Uh, do you know what I think it is, right? It's it's the one of those things where it's like white people trying to think a thing to be oppressed about. Yeah, where they don't have it, they're just, they're looking at they're looking at other <laughs> they're looking yeah. at minorities and going like, I want a bit of this sweet sweet. So from the fucking, and then they're like, but we have nothing to complain about. That so happened. then you're just getting on air. Now you're getting on bicycles and going like, there is clearly a lot of, because I've never been cleaned about 10 times on bikes. People do not care about you on bikes, but, but the shit I've seen from Jeremy Vine and that is oh, just it's mental. That filming waiting. You're like waiting for someone to like, make that a is, I mean, Ross Leslie. Is oh, I, comedian Ross Leslie. He had a thing. Two years ago or something, it was just after Christmas, and he'd put up a tweet saying he was taking his Christmas tree to the yeah yeah to the, the dump, pub, yeah. and he said um, massive uh, massive queue at the dump or the tip, just uh, trying to drop off a cyclist I murdered, right? <laughs> so funny, funny, funny tweet, and then the cycling world, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, it was brutal. But one of them people were reporting them to the police. There was one, right, because I, did, like, I, was, I went on and started defending him, right, and then some to, one of my followers came on and went, um, well, if this is the kind of person you're defending, that's the last time we'll be buying tickets to see you. I was like, right, fair enough. And he was like, I cannot believe you are endorsing a man who is admitting to this crime. And I was like, do you honestly think he has gone on and said on Twitter that he's murdered so Are you this fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> but like deadly, so deadly serious. <laughs> That's insane, yeah. But there was one his, one of the repliers to him said that compared cyclists to minority groups that had been persecuted that's it. like black people that's, in, that's just it. in America and like the Jews 
in nineteen thirties yeah, yeah. Germany, it and you're really, like, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, it really was. You ever walk through that? You know, I it, I, I get the same feeling walking through Auschwitz as that I do getting through uh, Yoon's cycles. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> All yeah. these poor people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's fucking unbelievable that somebody <laughs> would. <laughs> persecution yeah. you, no everyone remembers chris hoy's i have a dream speech <laughs> <laughs> fuck me <laughs> the, but like the, the most the fucking like they lost by like six million people the most cyclists lost was fucking lance armstrong's testicles <laughs> <laughs> it's just not the same uh, we're persecuted like black people oh jesus i couldn't believe it lynched because i walked past the oh, i went through a green light my god <laughs> or it turned right on it that's insane yes cyclists um right so this week's film we've already said that it's ryan's choice um yeah we won american football this time american football and now it is the only sport where uh, randy mcquade Randy McQuaid. Randy Mc, not Randy McQuaid. That's the like Randy. <laughs> yeah, Quaid. that's thinking, Randy Quaid. Nah, we're in a place where you'd like Dennis Quaid would be like an elite athlete. Yeah, you're like that's the man. I take it he's supposed to be on the way out. Aye, but he's is he is he because I read that his house in it is Dan Marino's house. Okay, that's exactly probably. So that's who he's supposed to yeah, be, yeah, like yeah. a Dan Marino, Brett Favre kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the way out, aye, a vet quarterback. Yeah, who was the who was the most recent biggest quarterback again? Well, like, well, Brady, well, like uh, Tom Brady, that's Tom Brady, of, and that's uh, of. yeah, yeah, Drew Brees was also big, like, like an old. He was playing when he was like it's Tom Brady, the guy that gets off with his son all the aye. time. Fucking dipping his tongue in. Aye, aye. that's weird. It, it is like, weird. That's... It's very fucking weird. But they really French kiss each other. Aye, aye, aye. Like, oh yeah, have a good day at school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck in your holy communion, tonguing out his daughter. <laughs> 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 fucking weirdo, like. <laughs> I, I saw him that he was doing this like golf he's doing golf thing and he got a hole in one and he had this drone following the ball and it looked class right and then some uh, video guy went in and was like that's been digitally added just before that ball goes to the green I'm like Tom uh, I'm like what are you doing uh, why are you shit. playing golf six Super Bowls and you're sitting playing golf I faking a hole in one is that, for many, is that how many Super Bowls he's won yeah Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's good he's been in nine wow he's lost three as well that's amazing so I, I used to wind up Patriots fans by saying like anytime I mentioned him I'd be like three time Super Bowl loser Tom Brady <laughs> <laughs> did he win nobody's them? ever lost more Super Bowls did he that. win them all with the Patriots <laughs> yeah Jesus no uh, yeah yeah why am I losing it there Tampa Bay he was in the final with Tampa Bay no he won one with Tampa Bay as well I don't know why I had an absolute fucking brain fart there yeah I mean, he fucked off and then they've uh, the Patriots actual managers actually just fucking uh, retired too the big Bill Belichick oh yeah I know him so yeah, yeah. he's gone too so the whole Patriots the, their two big boys are down um, just for anyone that isn't an NFL fan uh, these are the New England Patriots and the Tampa Bay Postman <laughs> <laughs> that'd be such a the Tampa Bay Postman there's some shite because in this so they turned the Dolphins into Sharks they turned the, the Dolphins into Sharks, sharks. Um, some of the names are pish yeah they're really shite yeah like yeah. the la team are like the cavaliers or there's yeah, some yeah. night at the round table kind of shit yeah they, they made them slightly too comical yeah and buccaneers in fairness of all teams they're as comic as they get because they do have a big buccaneer ship in the yeah out the back but but nobody else is really but the because i was reading that um oliver stone wanted like the, the the nfl wouldn't give him the rights to okay. the dolphins hmm. so but he wanted to do it in miami um so he just turned them into the sharks but the nfl were heavily involved in this film at the start and then because they were like no one's because i can't think of many nfl films because the three i can think of are this varsity blues and remember the titans no, I remember the titans. <laughs> fucking varsity blues varsity blues get james vanderbeek you know, okay, from yeah, Dawson's yeah. Creek. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's like the quarterback. Right. Um, it's quite good, actually. But I can't think of many before that. There's Remember the Titans. There was the Longest Yard remake. Longest Yard, aye. Uh, but that's still prison. It's not really professional. Aye. It's just the game around it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so There's a lot of things like Draft Day, you know, Kevin Costner. Aye, aye, aye. And, shit like that, and Jerry Maguire as well, but yeah, that's yeah. not really... Not, yeah, yeah. But So this, I think this is like the first... And I think Oliver Stone went to the NFL and went, I want to make a real film that shows yeah, yeah. what it's like to be in the NFL. And they were like, ah, fucking yes. And then he started doing this shit where, oh, um, the the medics are 
basically jacking these guys up yeah, so yeah. they can play through injury. They're ignoring the fact that this guy's had 19 concussions this season. Yeah. And, then still they, doing it, and then the NFL went, whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. they were going to yeah. take a wee step back here, Ollie, yeah, yeah. because... Yeah. Uh, Enjoy the Miami bit, oysters. Yeah, a bit too <laughs> close to the bone. <laughs> yeah, they're, I mean, they're all... Every year, there's like Chandler Jones, John Jones's brother, was mm -hmm. one of the best players. Like, even now, he's currently like shaving his head on Instagram every day and waving guns around. His, I'm like, he's gone as well. Aye. But with the concussions, you're just like, yeah. But it is mental because there's a bit queer because Dennis Quaid is like the, the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. And then they have a ridiculous... There's some things in this film that... There's some things... There, there's a game where so much happens that hasn't happened through an entire season. Yeah, okay. And it all happens in one game. Yeah, yeah. Right? But the idea of losing so losing your star quarterback right happens fair enough time. he's aging right he's it happens all the time he's right? been hit hard right to then lose your second quarterback in the very next play it's it's happened as it's, it fuck it's, same, it's happened the same quarters aye quarters you but not the like, next the next play is quite wild that aye. is pretty funny yeah yeah but then so Dennis Quaid goes out by that but then he's going to be back for the playoffs the playoffs of the Pantheon Cup <laughs> Which the Super Bowl is basically yeah, yeah. Like the Pantheon Cup. <laughs> yeah, they're not a good name. Um, and uh, but he basically goes to Pacino, who's the the head coach, and says, "Look, because he's, he's kind of hinting at I, I, I can't play here." And then he sits down. And he goes, uh, "I've got these really black spots in my memory. Um, I'm shaking. I can't hold a spoon anymore." <laughs> And Pacino goes, I need you to play one more time. And you're like, what? The guy, the guy can barely function. He's got a family, for Christ's sake. I, he can't, can't, I can't hold a spoon. <laughs> well, I need you for the most physical of games. And then when he manages to get through it, he just comes up and goes, I'll never forget what you did. <laughs> no, by the way. And then Quaid's like, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what the most Quaid's been loaded into a van <laughs> getting taken out home his kids are fucking tatters because <laughs> they've lost their dad and Pacino's like I'll never forget what you did <laughs> we're in the playoffs of the Pantheon Cup now <laughs> fuck me do, do you know what the most ridiculous thing about this whole film was uh, and the most unrealistic thing is the fact that nobody knew the third quarterback they were all like yeah who's this guy yeah, what's exactly. his name no, yeah. no, that guy's uh, like in the NFL there's if you're on that fucking, he's getting at least a million quid or like 700 grand around. Ah, he's on a good wage, aye. And everyone fucking knows him. He has to take all the reps and training the aye. same as the two starters. Aye. They were aye. all like, but who's nobody, this guy? Nobody knows him. Not even the team know him. No, like, not the team the are like, who the fuck's this guy? Like, as if he's not been hanging about. He's on the bench every time. Like. <laughs> on the bench every time. In every training rep with the actual quarterback. So like, who the fuck's this guy? It um, would have made sense if they drafted him in. Like, they, there's emergency yeah. quarterbacks that, yeah. that have played like, you see, this Cam season. Cameron Diaz does that. Because she's, like, the owner of the team. Yeah, yeah. And she does that as soon as... Um, uh, that's Quaid right. gets Ep injured. Epstein Islands, Cameron. <laughs> yeah, Epstein. I yeah, to give her our full title. <laughs> um, she gets on the phone immediately once Quaid's injured and goes, "I need to know what the status of quarterbacks. Who's who's uh, who's available? Who's out?" And you that go, made more "Right, sense. fair enough." But then, obviously, she couldn't get him in. I think the I think the thing is they probably would have got a relief quarterback in yeah. and sp thrown money at it, hmm. but they can't they can't get him in for that game. Oh, so yeah. Jamie Foxx has to go in yeah. as the third quarterback. And then he has, Pretty by all accounts, an amazing game. Yeah, yeah. Now, you say that's the most unrealistic thing. <laughs> well, no, no, yeah. I reckon <laughs> that's maybe third. Okay. And the top two are probably, in his first game, Jamie Foxx scoring a touchdown by doing a somersault over the entire defensive line. Oh, like over the pack? Yeah. Happens. Happens quite you a lot. Happens at least once a year. Someone does a, so a full yeah, somersault. Because what happened? Well, you, 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 if you're talking about what I can't remember the touchdown, but is, is it just that where they were all scrummaging right at the line? He runs and jumps over the top. Yes. Yeah, it's one of the like there. a trapeze artist. He, yeah, you don't need to somersault, but usually what happens is you you somersault because you don't want to get hit head first, so you I, hit your back and then you. I fully accept that people would leap, or they'd leap landing on their back. Well, a lot of them do the the front flip motion. Yeah. 
the, I mean, you must admit the way he does it is quite yeah, theatrical. It's quite, it is quite theatrical. He lands on his feet. There's there's loads. There's a great one from Jerome Simpson in the Bengals where he gets hit in midair and he finds himself and lands and he lands on his two feet and goes. <laughs> I mean, it, it's right, po- okay. it is possible. It okay, I'll give you that. Right, okay, that's not possible. unrealistic. Okay, it, it is a bit unrealistic. They really hammed it up. I think perhaps the most unrealistic bit is when a linebacker yeah. loses his eye yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the pitch. Yeah. Right, the entire eye comes out of the socket with the wee trail bits. Yeah, everything, so the bar of his brain out too. Sits, <laughs> sits on the astroturf and then they bag it up. <laughs> Yeah, I've never... they walk the cunt off with no eye, and he, Oliver Stone, Oliver Stone zooms in yeah, on the yeah, eye, I... just sitting there on the pitch. <laughs> the whole entrails, optic nerves. No and one's all. fainted. <laughs> they just get on with the game. You'd be like, right, the game's getting stopped. What are you talking about? If someone loses an eye, no, no. Fuck off. If someone's eye comes well, out of their right. socket. So two years ago, they, they we we all thought someone lost their eye. They right. didn't. What happened was uh, that it got caught and it ripped the whole socket out there, but the eye stayed in, right? And everybody thought, oh, he's lost his eye on the thing and they wouldn't show it because they thought that that had happened, right? Right. But no, no, the play, he just carried him away. What are you talking about? Someone nearly died in the field. The only time that the thing was the guy that had the heart attack last year on the field, they stopped it then. Right. Because there's too many people crying, but a serious injury with that? No, people have went straight to the hospital with broken spines and play on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it takes a lot. Now, the, the heart attack one, uh, they played on recently in a heart attack kind of situation. A boy, a person went down, but that dummy or Hanlon, the Bills dude, he had, a, he had basically a heart attack, fainted, and they all thought he was literally dead. They turned it off, and then they sat around for an hour going like, right, are we making this happening? They just basically asked the coach eventually, like, are you in a state to play? And he was like, no. And they went, all right. And then they didn't. They, cut, they called that off. I was raging because I... Jesus. <laughs> it's a ruthless world, the old NFL, isn't it? Like, No, they definitely... I guarantee you that I think there is no way that game wouldn't continue on. A broken eye. Definitely not an eye. They barely did it with a guy that they thought had died. What if somebody stepped on the eye? Oh, that'd be... Yeah. Squilch. But I mean, yeah. there's, there's horrific NFL injuries, but that's a blind one, like... Uh, they, I thought they. I remember a couple of years ago, someone in Miami too. Actually, they thought lost an eye, but no, he didn't. Uh, but they, they, we all thought he had, and they played on. Jesus Christ! It's still up, uh, completely unrealistic. If you lost an eye, you'd burst an eye in your eye or whatever. Not, not pulled the entire entrails, the optic nerve, and the yeah. and it's lying on the end zone, <laughs> and the guy's eye. like, "My eye!" <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Is um, is are, are NFL players? As wild as it makes out in this film, yeah, because they're coked up a lot in this film. Yeah, well, they, they're all they're loads of them are always fine, but it's usually just un, unspecified. Most most of the time, it's weed they get. Oh, really? For. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I presume they are. I don't really know. It's, it's like saying do footballers, and you're like, obviously. But do they train every day? NFL players? Actually, no, not every day. They no. come in usually, you know, practice report on like Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and maybe then fly for the Sunday. I don't imagine they would because they don't. You can't, there's only so much you can do because you don't want to hurt each other. It's not that difficult a game either. Well, you just have to learn the stuff. You only play for like, I reckon, four or five minutes a no. full game. No, no, I mean, that's not. Was it stopping and starting? It was the stopping and starting. No, it would be still an hour if you're, if you're a starter. Mm. You'd still be playing. No, it's but still you stop start. You no, but it's not an hour because you only play half of that, don't you? So no, well the stoppages you still have to have the ball. The the, the the clock stops when it's you know. So like with the stoppages, the clock stops. I reckon a quarterback plays about eighteen minutes. You're f- full of fucking nonsense there. It's not. I mean, it's not a difficult. Yeah, you, you, it's you, not. You a, have it's it, half it's not hour. a physically taxing sport, is what I'm saying. You don't think the NFL is a physically taxing? Well, I think it's. I think it's brutal and it's dangerous, but it's not. You don't really, really need to be that fit. Depends where you play. Because you're not running Depends. unless right. The, the the wide receivers, right? I'll give you them. Yeah, well, I mean need the cornerbacks fit, are more run. fit. The linebackers are a bit more. Quarterback is l- fit. L- Quarterback has to run. No, no, no. A corner. Oh, a corner, right? Okay. Cornerbacks. Quarterbacks depends what you are. If you're a running quarterback, you do. But nah, not 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 Dennis Quaid anyway. Nah. There's the old fashioned gunslingers who they're protected. Like they're only getting losing things to get smacked. Aye. It really depends where you're playing. Like offensive tackle, you don't have to be fit, but you have to be strong and have to be able to block the thing. Yeah. Linebackers are elite. Linebackers are outrageous. Yeah. yeah. Their fitnesses because they're. 
running sideways and thing and darting and Aye. they have to do a lot. But right, some of them you're just like, no. Aye. Some of so, them, some of them like massive guys can jump out of pools, you know, even though they're like three hundred, yeah. four hundred pounds, they can jump out of pools. Because these, I mean, these lads are on. They're the, the, all the party they have. Where oh, aye, aye, aye. Basically, it's just hookers everywhere. <laughs> And LL Cool J and his pal are just in, yeah, yeah, like yeah. just fucking coked at their minds. Like his second best part, LL Cool J. But What's his best? Is that like Deep, Deep Blue Sea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the parties were that was quite a party. I presume so. Like I don't. Really know. The party, he, he, the big, the big dude saws <laughs> Jamie Foxx's car in half for Christ's sake. <laughs> it's a hell of a party. <laughs> it is. There's always that the tragedies in the NFL are always wild. Like two years ago was that Raiders dude, that the young receiver, that one of the best receivers in the league. He fucking he got hammered. He crashed the car and the car caught fire and he got out of the fire. But the car he hit was like a woman and her dog or something. And it, she was just burning alive and he just sat there watching it. <laughs> Jesus he Christ. He just sat down in the path and was like, mm. Bloody He's in hell. jail. He's in jail Jesus. now for murder. You know, I think I forgot to tell you actually that you've just reminded me with a car crash there. Um it was I totally forgot to tell you this in the <laughs> Magnificent Seven episode. Uh, you know how Steve McQueen got the part for it? How? Uh, so he, he'd already been signed up. He was already doing a Western TV series, and the TV series weren't going to stop his contract so he could do and do the Magnificent Seven. So he basically put himself in a car crash with his girlfriend. Basically, went, I'm going to crash the car, so but not too bad. So he was in a car crash. So that what, during his recuperation period, he went and filmed the Magnificent <laughs> That's such a Purposefully cla- crashed his What car. a mad cut. <laughs> How do you get away with that? Even? Um, this is... Um, this, there is a lot of stuff here. First of all, remember the quarterback puked when he came on? Yeah. I mean, I, that's, that, you'd retire. <laughs> you'd be like, that, that would be a disaster. I've but never that, seen then, that. that then becomes his thing. Yeah, like people yeah, are then yeah. cheering because it'll come up on the big screen that him <laughs> throwing up into a bucket and they'll go, yo, yeah. so, I'm fucking Oliver oh. Story plays one of the, yeah, uh, the commentators right. goes, uh-oh, <laughs> San Francisco are in trouble now because <laughs> like, he's puking. Can I just, the, the name as well is so bad for a quarterback. Willie Beeman. Willie Beeman. Steam, like, steaming Beeman, that's steaming Willie Beeman, wasn't it? Steaming Willie Beeman. He's, he's, Do you remember Randy Beeman? No. Do you remember Randy Beeman? He was in the Animaniacs. He was the little dude that ran oh, out of yeah, the house. He goes, yeah, oh, yeah. my Ram Randy Beeman. I was like, that's all I thought of. I laughed when it was steaming. Because obviously steaming in Scotland means yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> yeah. gutted. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm steaming Willie Beeman. <laughs> and also he says it to them in yeah. the party. See the... Nobody the, would ever say that. The song... My name is Willie. Oh, God. <laughs> Willie Beeman. <laughs> I got the latest creaming. <laughs> My Cadillac is gleaming. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that oh was as close God. to the John Barnes word. My Cup name song. is Willie. <laughs> Willie Beeman. <laughs> Do you know the worst so thing? Shit. The worst thing is Jimmy Fox is a really like a Grammy winning hip hop artist. I know. I think he would have went like I'll whip up something I'll a little bit. I know, but also right. I'll whip up something like how right. So they are what three games away from the playoffs. Yeah. Right. So they're close to the end of the season. Yeah. Right. So he <laughs> comes in three games away. Right. Um, Week 15. Quaid. Quaid is coming back for the playoffs. So he's only out. So at most, uh, Willie, Willie Beeman, is getting three games. Yeah. How the fuck <laughs> does he play three games and suddenly has a chart hit? <laughs> what kind of world is this where he's like three games uh, and suddenly he's the best, he's the most recognisable player in the league? Like, I mean, there's, there's a lot of... Stories like that always happen back of court play pretty well, but no, not not like not like franchise <laughs> deals straight off the bat. They're like, right, oh that's good. He'll he'll get another go next year and then yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Not not like straight away, like yeah. well we found the new Michael Jordan. Yeah. There's so much like also I was gonna ask you, see the game they play where it's cause I thought I cause it's been years since I saw this film. Mm. And I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the first time. Okay, I I, I did enjoy it. And I'll tell, I'll, but, I'll explain why. But there why. was a lot of shite in it. Um, and I forgot, there's a scene where 
it's raining. I mean, it's biblically raining mm. and there's mud. And I thought, oh, this is just going to be a montage of them training. And then you go, it's an actual game. And they're running through what is basically the fucking psalm. And I'm like, there's no way that game would go ahead. It's you so, can barely it, see the lines you're, of you're, scrimmage. You're insane. That would absolutely, that has happened. But you can't see the lines. You couldn't see How? the lines and you can't see the lines in the, the snow games. They have to put the little pillars at the very edges of the, like they put up like little tiny cones, essentially. How are they counting the yards in that? They, I mean, this is torrential rain. I see. There's mud. Absolutely. There's Did you puddles. not see the game this weekend that was, they, they, they had to cancel, they had to fucking cancel the game because like the entire stadium was I, In Buffalo, yeah. Yeah, they didn't yeah. clear the stage. This, it's like, yeah, it was nowhere near as bad. Like the pitch was fine, but no, I've seen worse. I've seen, yeah, there, I mean, yeah, the the pitch with that pitch would have been torn up way more. There, yeah, like because I mean that means that somebody must have been on that shit like last week. Like a lot of the, a lot of them bloody stadiums now to, to avoid them torrential downpour games because then it just becomes running backs. Yeah, splashing about. Yeah, uh, I mean it looked cool on film, but yeah, no, they, it's, like, mm. it's hard to get them now because a lot of the pictures are fake and they, a lot of them now just dome the whole stadium because there couldn't. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no, definitely. The that uh, game would have went ahead as well. <sighs> the reason I don't like the reason I didn't like it as much. Yeah, I forgot a lot of the Oliver Stone mental shit. He's always done like I love his films, but he is really capable of. I mean, to over dramatizing. I am assuming Oliver Stone is coked out of his mind <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, maybe. because the the thing. What first of all, it, the the film starts with like a load of guys playing football in the clouds. Oh, right, right? <laughs> and then at the start. He starts getting every single time the defense are like growling, but like lions, they're like roaring, right? But the, the one scene, and that didn't piss me off because I was like, this is just stylish, right? The scene where Willie, Willie Beeman, um, <laughs> goes over to Pacino's house to have dinner with him, and Pacino's watching Ben Hur. Yeah. And they're having the argument over Pacino saying that, he, that uh, Willie, Willie Beeman. <laughs> not gonna get sick of this he he uh doesn't respect the game and he's changing the plays yeah and he's the quarterback and he needs the, the he needs to have the team trusting him and stuff and he comes back and he's, he starts telling them about how he gets shit and he's been given shit his entire life and never all this kind of stuff he doesn't just let that run he intersperses it with cuts of ben Hur. Oh, and yeah, it's the most yeah, distracting yeah. thing in the world. <laughs> I don't like, know what he's trying what to do. What point are you trying to make here? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like I get that you're going. These guys are the the gladiators of our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you're really forcing it down my throat here, yeah, yeah, Stone. Yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake. He he is very fucking dramatic. Like that. That was what. What else did he say in that that conversation? Was it basically your man's coming back? Was it? I told him that he was going to start with mm-hmm. Dennis Quaid. Yeah, yeah. And then then. Uh, Jimmy Fox starts bringing up the fact that he's the fact that black black because I, I imagine at this stage yeah, that, black quarterbacks wouldn't be uh, not as much definitely I would say uh, no. Michael Vick you know, was back in the yeah maybe actually but anyway when was it 2000? that's in uh, 90s this uh, is well, about 90, 99 maybe this film yeah well probably definitely not as much as now you know um, no like I, I, again everything is slightly realistic but also slightly hammed up you know, like, as you say, in the front flip, people do front flip in the end zone, but not like a fucking gymnast that lands and goes, Aye. perfect dismount. You know, there's one famous one, but that was only a refixing or whatever. The the weather, the weather can be really bad. The eye would definitely play on. The weather would probably play on. They really play on unless it's a travel nightmare rather than a pitch nightmare. Aye. Uh, do you know the Dallas sit- Sniper? Sorry, my nose yeah, is yeah. up. See, they have a sniper in the stadium. Yeah, yeah. The little, the little bird nest. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't fucking <laughs> rip one off into the quarterback there the last day when they tanked out. Do you hear who appears at the end? Big Charlton Heston. What? Charlton Heston appears at the end. Do you know how Cameron Diaz... This is... I think Cameron Diaz is fucking class in this film. It's a it's a change-up. No matter, like, a bat. You rarely, she rarely plays a wanker. This was, this was, like, proper hot Cameron Diaz. Like, this is... The mask. The mask Cameron Diaz. Like, I forgot how good-looking Cameron Diaz actually is. Yeah. Until you see this and you go, Jesus Christ. In the 90s, she was yeah. untouchable. Um, Not now. 
hanging about in that island. Yeah, exactly. I mean, know, we've, we've already discovered the, <laughs> why she was in the documents, but I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, she, uh, oh, so she's frigging off Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Um, there's something about Stephen. <laughs> yeah, he's got cerebral palsy. That's <laughs> that's the something. He didn't even have palsy. He just come so much. He was shriveled up. <laughs> so I can walk. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been coming so hard that the man's lost all bodily functions. <laughs> Why is his arm hooked over like that? He's wanking. <laughs> he has wanked himself a claw. <laughs> I tell, uh, tell you the best thing about Stephen Hawking at Epstein End, he's reopened. Like, you're like, all right, that's probably not on now. No, he's just reopened the world. Like, oh, you know what? You can't fucking take it. Oh, aye, aye. Yeah, fuck him. Um, yeah, she's, so she's like doing the classic owner thing of trying to, she's trying to blackmail the mayor yeah, to yeah. build him a new stadium by going, oh, I'm going to take the franchise to LA. Yeah. And then, uh, but she, so she's the owner. So she's the general manager, sorry. Yes, yes. But then yes. there's owners above that. Yeah, yeah. And that's Charlton Heston at the end. Yes, I, I, you know, I remember this now. Yeah, um, yeah. See, this is what I don't. This is why that I can, very end scene was not needed and kind of pointless. The fact that he went to the Albuquerque, whatever, yeah, and he aye. goes, and Willie Beeman's with me, and I'm like, aye. well, no, Willie would be tied down to it. That man. would never happen, surely. Really, no, not unless he ran out of contract, but even at that situation, it would never be a secret like that. Yeah, 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 And yeah. Willie Beeman's coming with me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That would never happen. I felt I went into, like, the fucking whoever, like, I was in Kansas City today, and I had, like, Andy Reid, their coach, aye. got fucking his... Thing. He's like, well, I've just taken a, I've just taken a job with LA Chargers, and guess who's coming with me? The star, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> and everybody would be like, <gasps> never. See, this is why I can never get fully on board yeah, with yeah. American football. Is the franchise thing? It is. Yes, it's not cool. I don't like it. It's stupid. It is. It's really. Fun is there? A, I take it there are teams that would never ever move. Like loads of them. Like the Patriots would never go to anywhere other. You'd like England to say pretty it much it. most of them now would never move. Like Chicago Bears wouldn't move. Steelers yeah. wouldn't move. There's a load. There seems to be like four or five. Like the Chargers, maybe like teams like the Lions, the Jacksonville. They're they're on the age of either have moved or yeah. could move again. You know. Where are the Jets now? They're in New York. New York, so but they are a Jersey kind of team. Most I was going to say New, New Jersey. So the Giants have always been New York. Yeah, two two New Yorks. Yeah. What are the what are the Redskins called now? They're called the Commanders. The Commanders. Washington Commanders. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not the same, is it? No. We were just like we just put it. There was Washington Football Team for two years. Oh really? So it was Washington Football Team while they made up one, and then they came to a command. There was there was, so. there was there was there was fucking goddamn airplanes that fought in the war called the Washington Red Tails. That would have been such a better one than Commanders. Yeah, would have been nice. Just change the Red Tails. Aye. Do your fucking American. I mean, they didn't help themselves with the helmet. They didn't they didn't like help having so. an actual. Native American on the helmet was taking the piss. Well, do you know what's funny? That nobody's saying anything about the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, God. They're all I? fucking literally a thing. Their entire walking's like, oh. And I'm like, <laughs> how is this? How's this? Like, <laughs> slipped under the fucking. <laughs> if I was in the Redskins, I'd be like, hey, well, there's another fucking team quite in us. You know? <laughs> Fuck's sake. The New Mexico wetbacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're changing. They make it worse. The Washington. No. <laughs> I don't know. Washington Wops? Some of them don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some of them don't make any sense. Why are the Seattle the Seahawks? I don't know. Is that a native bird? The old Seattle? S- the, 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 I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> There's a lot of bird ones. Falcons and fucking. Yeah. Yeah, dolphin is a weird one when you think about it. Like sharks nah, was actually that, better. No, nah, because it's do- like Miami all have dolphins in their bays. Well, sharks too. Yeah, <laughs> Chicago has bears roaming the place. Yeah, Pittsburgh has guys build buildings. Forty <laughs> <laughs> ers Don't know what that's about. I don't know what the forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point actually. You know, 
uh, and the uh, Green Bay Fudge Packers. Green Bay, the Green Bay Fudge Packers, <laughs> the Cheeseheads. Americans are real bad at just naming and swearing, like naming things. Yeah. What were the Cheeseheads? You're like, what? Who's either, the Cheeseheads? They were, like pack Packers would wear cheese things on their heads too, and call themselves Fuck Cheeseheads, and you're just like, like Jesus Christ, that's see, cringe. that's what puts people off more than. See, when you go to the NFL, see when you've been down to the NFL games at, uh, in London. You must look about and go, these fucking people are wanks. It is. It's a lot of it's a lot of people that look exactly like me. Yeah. No, nah, th- they're never athletes. Not a single no, athletic of course person not. watches no. that. It's a nerd. This is why that's but it's not an athletic sport. That's just what I'm trying to it, tell it you. It's pure nerds. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Um what was that thing? Remember you in war did a Super Bowl? Did you not have to make an appearance at a Super Bowl party? Oh, like I've done yeah, I've done them before, yeah. Yes, yeah. Sorry. Did you have to do something mental at it? Oh God, yeah, that was for the, the Edinburgh Wolves. Yeah, they were doing like a, they were doing like a, they were got so hammered, and it was like half time. They were going to do the show, and they were like, "Let's do a big, uh, fucking whatever raffle." Right, and uh, they were like, "We've only got like ten minutes because then the, that everyone wants to watch the halftime party." So yeah, of course. So so we were like, "We'll do it." We were. They were like, "We'll just do it because you sort of used to be on stage." So me and Wall went up, and me and Wall were just so ruthless. So we were just hitting people, hit and runs, just insults while you're doing it. Like, <laughs> oh, look at this bald cunt! Want a bottle of whiskey? And the guy just takes the whiskey and kind of looks at you, and then uh, by the time that's finished, Wall's already announcing the next person. We're doing like number sixty-six. Oh, look at this! By the time the person walk up to keep it going i was doing the next person like, well, you fucking needed that hopefully it's toothbrushes in here the guy's like what 69 something you'll never yeah. have you yeah. ugly bastard <laughs> something you don't even want look at the state of her you're like what are these people doing that was good crack uh, i've got things here like uh things like uh well i had randy beeman and the, the, the dallas sniper you had who <laughs> randy beeman Really, like, Willie Beam? Do you know he was supposed to play Willie? Willie Beam and Will Smith. No, Will Smith was a, <laughs> a, a link a... to it, but a uh, Puff Daddy was the original Willie. Willie Beam and okay, um, I would like to have seen that. But then they started filming, and he couldn't he couldn't throw for shit. Like he couldn't even he couldn't he even he couldn't even pretend oh my to be God. a court. Like like I mean, obviously, because oh. it was real football players playing. In yeah, the games, because yeah. it was proper realistic, the football scenes. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, Jamie Foxx would have to throw the ball. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. he wouldn't have to throw it. They wouldn't follow the ball's trajectory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Puff Daddy couldn't <laughs> even act throwing the fucking bullet. <laughs> Remember the young girl trying to bang him? Al Pacino? Yeah. Oh, God. That was weird. Pacino is, Pacino's a weird character in aye, this. Aye, aye. I just I found that was fucking weird. Uh, he just he just he's just with hookers the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like that's all he. He's so, 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 there was no redemption arc kind of either. Because I thought I'd, I'd forgot this bit as well when when he's with uh, the woman. Yeah, yeah. And they're watching uh, the TV. They're watching the interview on the TV, and he says, uh, "How about I see you some more." And then she says, no. And then it slowly dawns that she's a hooker as well. And you're like, uh, Jesus Christ, Pacino, this is... And he's still there. This is bad, and man. He's still in I know. I, I just love the fact as well. Just, oh, you know what? When you're talking about the fucking, you know, the owners and everything, I just realized, I don't know if this ever happened, but I'm just like, why do you have binoculars? Yeah. yeah. In the NFL stadium, there were screens everywhere. You know, they're all sitting up there. Oh, like yeah, it's that's a good point. Like actually, it's fucking yeah, horse yeah. racing. yeah. Oh, yeah. I might have frying throw there. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? There's some amazing people in this. Yeah, there's a lot of big actors all like, scattered. Aaron Eckhart, uh, yeah, yeah, the offensive I, coach. Yeah, he's fucking class. Matthew Modine's the yeah. other doctor. Yeah, James Woods and James is Woods. just the most unscrupulous doctor. <laughs> what I love about it is the yeah, but... the way they make. The way that Oliver Stone shows that clearly this guy's dodgy yeah, yeah. is that he's constantly chatting up cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single... There's fucking quades collapsing in the pitch and he's over there fingering a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who was it? Did he say that to Al Pacino? Or who, who got said to, uh, what do you do for Dick? Do you remember? No. There's always she says to Al Pacino, so I'm an old person. I've just even got a thing here. It says to a 90-year-old, someone just said, what do you do for dick? I remember that. I was just sitting <laughs> in the film and I was like, ugh. 
<laughs> what do you do for a dick? You go down to the fucking farmer's market, you fucking... <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, um, there's a scene in this where Cameron Diaz enters the changing rooms. Oh, hey, and wangs out. Honours of dicks. There's one guy's fucking... It's ridiculous. Tanking about. It's just that big, huge dong. Just flapping. So he was just like... You're just like, Jesus. Did you reckon when they were filming that scene, they were like, right, we're all going to... I'm afraid there's going to be some news here and take off. And one guy's like, my time. <laughs> yes. My career's about to take a big up. T- this is good. <laughs> just one extra. Yeah, yeah. He's been in loads of stuff. <laughs> Period dramas <laughs> and stuff. Oh, fucking, I'm never going to be able to get it out here. Here we go. That was Batman, Barry. oh, fuck, I'm never going <laughs> to... That's what Barry Cuban was trying to do, too. So he tried to give a dick out. <laughs> I love the fact as well he became a starting quarterback and immediately started treating women like shit. He's, <laughs> he, he, was he, t- he turns into a piece of shit almost immediately. <laughs> like immediately? Three weeks? Like the, the girl he's been with. Is so nice. Since college. For years. And then he just he just turns aggressive. After, again, after one start. Uh, aye, You're aye. like, what? Not even a start. He plays half the game. Aye. He's like, I can't be fucking dealing with your shit anymore. <laughs> Half the game, and he comes home and goes, get the fuck out. Because <laughs> Willie steaming. <laughs> Willie steaming, steaming Willie beaming. It was about to ride out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Jesus Christ. My, that's right, dude. That's right. You stand next to Cameron Diaz with his cock out. I was, thought it was pretty funny. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's... Mine's came out and he just arrested her. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's what we're having these days. Oh, so, sorry, how the fuck did the guy get a baby alligator? Oh, God, yeah! <laughs> yeah, God, I completely forgot. So I don't want your... The kid was like, they didn't eat, they didn't say it. They wanted to... I reckon the first draft of that was they were racist white people. You know, like, they were like, they were like well, we're not getting into that. They were kind of like hillbillies, mm-hmm. metal heads, yeah. you know, and then they were just like, no, we're not going to listen to your black music. Let's turn up our metal music. Aye. And I was like, I think they were going to do that and then they kind of held back a bit. But then he pulls out alligator. And but it's fucking... Also, where's the alligator? Has the alligator been the locker? in his locker the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> so he's brought a bag in with the... And how many t- Again, like you're saying about the guy that's getting his dick out. Yeah. How long has he waited to produce the alligator? <laughs> Three seasons worth. <laughs> do you the kit man the alligator well? started that size <laughs> the kit man cleaning up while they're all on the pitch he opens up the locker <laughs> breaking news the kit man. Miami Sharks lose yet another kit man <laughs> the 15th this month <laughs> the baby alligators mauled to death <laughs> oh. oh fucking oh, hell God. my name is Willie Will it be, man? Aye, aye. Um, he tried to talk. Remember, by the way, you were talking about the old woman, or the woman, the prostitute with Al Pacino. The most harrowing scene was when he was trying to talk her out of paying her. Yeah. He's like, well, you know, I've paid you enough now. Surely we're in love. Kind of. And she was like, oh, no, sweetie. Yeah, I need your check. He oh, pays a, also, I know he pays with a check. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a nightmare. She'd be like, you know, I'm not going to do this purely because I have to walk to the bank to get this done. <laughs> Check bounces as well. Um, Checks are bouncing. Eh? But some, there's going to be somebody out there just writing dodgy checks with all these high-class prostitutes. <laughs> Add bounce. Can't find me. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. Um, what uh, do you reckon? Uh, do you reckon Pacino's speech is the best That's, it really, it's speech good. in any it, sports it, you film? You know what? I remember it being slightly better. I was sitting there cringing a bit. But it was good. It's, it's, it is good. It is a good. The inch by inch... I think I think it gets good halfway through it and when then, he starts actually talking about a uh, Bernie Sanders football. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> when he actually starts going, uh, if you want to get somewhere, this is what football is all about. You take inch by inch, and the guy next to you needs to know that you're going to support him and all yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah. That's when it gets good. When he starts <laughs> and just starts moaning about his life. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I don't know what to say. I pissed away my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking hookers every night. <laughs> My dick ain't been hard for 30 goddamn years. I was like, is this okay? Is there, are we doing slant rights? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this a running back play? <laughs> my children. Oh. <laughs> Pacino, man. Ah, that's my only Pacino. I can only go. Oh. Jamie Foxx did a good Pacino impression in the middle of it. 
Does he? Can he mocks him a wee bit? Then goes, <laughs> and I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> That'd be great if that was improvised. Do you know who does an amazing Pacino impression? Kevin Spacey. Yeah, is he? There's a great clip <laughs> if you get a chance to watch it. I think it's him, Pacino and Spacey on Letterman. And, and he gets, the years on the island. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Letterman. There's not a chance David Letterman's not been to that island. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, um, They're still coming that beard. But he, he does an amazing thing where he there's another thing where he shows you how you should you you, you should be able to do um, a Pacino impression, and it's some like you never sit still, so you're constantly looking for something. It's like oh yeah 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 oh, yeah oh. and then <laughs> he's always asking a question. Oh, where is it? <laughs> where is it? <laughs> that's so good <laughs> do you know um, do you know it was fucked up and I think it's the most racist part of this film and they didn't make they tried to make it not racist was the fact when he was trying to get Willie Beeman to calm down just imagine you're back in the projects I know <laughs> what <laughs> So imagine you're in a KFC Willie <laughs> somewhere where you feel at home and you're just like what the fuck are you saying bag out in the cotton fields you used to run <laughs> just sick Imagine yes. your, your, he says projects. Your, your mama's calling you for <laughs> Your mama's calling you a chicken again. <laughs> like, he's just looking at me like, you, this is racist. This is so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> but that is what really, Imagine you're back in the projects. Um, do you know, you, as a football. Uh, and when he does say, don't talk to me as well, don't you talk to me like that. I'm Stephen Willie Beeman. Yeah, yeah. That's not a good thing. <laughs> no, no. You would lose everything. No. Um, do you know all the famous people are in this film? Like what? So uh, apparently all the other coaches of the teams they play are all are all like Hall of Fame. Oh, are they? So uh, never Johnny Unitas. Oh, is he on it? Is he, See, I know all the names. He's but one of them. Their faces, um, yeah. I don't know. Is surely Vince Lombardo? Is it Vince Lombardi. Lombardo? Vince Lombardi. He wouldn't be in it. He, he, he's quite old on these he? too long ago do, um, you, do you know that that would make sense you know I just don't know their faces I don't even know half because not the the coaches are actually I'm better with half the time you could I love players and I'm like oh is that what looks like wearing helmets second <laughs> second last coach Dick Buckus. is that him Dick was that Buck his Dick Dick was Dick? what a name the best name ever the Chicago Bears yeah they? Dick, Dick Buckus. <laughs> I use it on the, the other way when I'm doing fake names because people are like, yeah, fake. And I'm like, oh, it's Will ain't absolutely you wrong? Dick Butkiss. Oh. Can't beat that. You can't beat that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, we're still a wee bit left very shortly. Um, yeah, I just have stuff. Uh, David, Dennis Quaid's wife is another psychopath. You know, yeah. Like, you know, they were trying to, Al Pacino was trying to get her on the pitch. Yeah. His, what, he's like, I just, you know, I'm done. I'm sorry. And the kids were in the mansion. This isn't who you are, you fucking pussy. Again, I know he tries to say to her, look, my, my I can't leg. hold a spoon. He's, actually, <laughs> he's standing there with the spoon going, look, I keep dropping spoons. Like me it's who's going to be feeding uh, and jerking you off in the future. <laughs> Get out there, you little bit. <laughs> Fuck if you can't hold a spoon. <laughs> you don't need to hold a spoon to throw a pass, do yeah, you? Yeah, you yeah, 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 Piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be eating through a fucking spoon in a minute. <laughs> you eating through? Don't talk to me like that. Um, uh, Stephen Willie Beeman. <laughs> don't you ever say that to me. I'm rooting tootin' Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like they were in the Magnificent Seven. I feel yeah. like it would be more. <laughs> and Johnny Fast Fingers. You know, you'd be like, all right, I can get it in that. Uh, Lovey had to do a, a public apology to a, a journalist as well. Mm. It's a guy for Scrubs. Oh, aye. Uh, our second John C. Riley, John C. McGinley film. He's in The Rock, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, if you don't know, if you follow the Instagram, mm -hmm. you know, we have like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we follow, I try and keep up and follow one person each film. We, we, ha we are following a John C. McGinley... Fan page. Fan page. And he's got a podcast mm -hmm. called like... Like connected to a chew or something. Yeah. With John Cena. Never listened to it, but <laughs> I get a lot of. He's pushing it hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What else do I have here? Uh, I do. It's a real proper movie, movie, is the way I describe it. Uh, do you know what I'm like? It's no. proper blockbuster, them type of days. Yeah. Hand, hammed up. Like, over there. I, I don't think it would. If it's made now, they'd either make it too realistic or too. You know, they'll make it too much about the brain damage. This was more like, this gun's going to get brain damage, but they stayed on it. Not like concussion with Will Smith, where it's yeah. just kind of looking at charts about it. I'm like, oh. I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. I thought the best the best character was Woods for me, Lex. But it, just so... The who was, sorry? James Woods. 
Oh, so just so, so fucking sleazy. Yeah, and yeah. And just like literally not giving a shit. The fact that he switched X-rays. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, mask yeah. the fact <laughs> that the guy was on his last legs. <laughs> He guy, oh, do you know, yeah, the guy, the player as well. The big, the big huge defensive lad. Oh, he disabled himself for a million quid. Has a, they make him sign a waiver <laughs> that says, if, basically, if you become brain damaged, it's nothing to do with the club. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Put him back in. Now, to a tug of Viola, the current Miami Dolphins quarterback had three serious concussions, like, really badly last year. And they were like, you probably have to retire. He is back and played all this year. Wow. Like, th- that is pretty much what that thing. So that happens still. And as much as they pretend, I know they can't pull that guy out and go, like, you can't play anymore. Yeah. You're only, he's only played one year, two years. and I'm, But that must, like... That will kill it. Like, he is going to be a vegetable. Like, most of them are vegetables that are fucking yeah. serious. Two of his were serious he was on the ground with fingers crumped he's stephen hawking jeez like he just cummed a bucket <laughs> there's because this must have been i mean the, no wonder the nfl shit themselves at this film because it must have shone a light on <laughs> yeah it must be one of the first to show the light as, on as, especially the folk that see how there's like um ll cool j especially is chasing the money hmm. so it, it never seems like he's a team player either he's not for the team because he keeps he goes to pacino and says look fucking steaming willie beeman has never thrown it to me yeah. or he's never packed he's a cause yeah, he's yeah. a running back yeah and he's and he says i only need to make another that happens all like time. 20 yards yeah. till i get this bonus it happens all the time and he's like going you got to tell this fucking guy because i need to make my bonus yeah yeah and it seems to be and that's the, the same dude that's got the concussion he's yeah. like i need to i need to he, he, he's one he's one sack away from like a from million. a million dollar bonus, yeah. So do, do they get those bonuses in their contracts? That are yeah. if you cover this amount of yards, yeah, yeah. So it, so you, you get it every. It's why week eighteen, the last regular season game, that's usually when they all start coming in. Uh-huh. So you see people, you don't really get it sometimes. Like you do a long ball and a tight end catches it and he gets up and he's like, ah, uh, yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. All right, calm down. You're uh, losing twenty eight. They go, well, that's. David Njoku, he's just earned another two million quid on his Jesus. bonus, so they do have certain incentives as well. Aye. But I, I mean, like in the situation of that, I feel like the club would just be like, "No, it, I, one sack, Ellen." But it was for safety, I feel like the club would be like, "You're not playing, and we'll give you the million quid." Aye. I don't, I don't think that happens, but I don't I never heard of it happen. But I feel like in that situation, yeah, you're about to die, we can't pull you out and see where I'll be. Like, you're not playing. We'll give you a million quid. Aye, 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 aye. Trusted servant. Aye. Who's the most Who's the highest paid NFL star now? Um, see, it's hard to gauge because some of them get their money shifted onwards. So, like Patrick Mahomes. Oh, yeah. Like Patrick yeah, Mahomes yeah. signed like a $500 million deal, but his is spread out over 10 years and it's kind of like pushed, you know, like, like Chelsea are starting to do things. Um, guaranteed money is a big one. Uh, so, as much as it's not the highest thing, like Deshaun Watson, the rape he did in the, the uh, life, he got signed, and his is like 300 million quid up front. That happened to a dude. Uh, They're guaranteed, only A recent dude uh, in the uh, baseball. baseball. It was the, sa- so, it's the same dude. It's Todd Bowley. Oh, he, really? He owns Chelsea and that club. He's, it's ah, the same. It's is it Todd, Dodgers? Yeah, I, I think it's the Dodgers. Yeah. Aye, but they signed this dude. Oh, or Otani? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But he, the way he's being, pl- he's, the way he's being paid is, he, he has something like a $300 million, but he's only going to get like $2 million worth of it because of tax, <laughs> tax laws. So he'll get like the two hundred ninety eight million when he retires. Yeah, the very last. So it's of like, this. what the fucking? That was Todd Bowley, exactly Chelsea guy. That, that's when everything goes on. Oh, that's like Chelsea. And I go, you don't realize he owns both. It's him. Ah, <laughs> Todd Bowley owns that's both. It all makes sense. Yeah, just, he, Jesus it, it, Christ! He's actually just brought that into the Premiership now. And that's to get insane. The... Likes. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. Oh well. Um, I do you know what I say? I didn't like it. it, was, I, it I, 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 it's very, very enjoyable. I liked it more than Remember the Titans in my memory, but I reckon Remember the Titans might be better now. When I, I, wa- think- I watched that there, and I went, "Oh great, I Remember the Titans might be better." I must I, watch it. Like, if it wasn't for the mental Oliver Stone stuff, yeah, it is. I'd have enjoyed it yeah. a lot more. You see, it, yeah. it, to me, it was like it was like an MTV video doing. It was like MTV doing an NFL game. Yes. I mean, oh, they also filmed some of them stadiums were not actual stadiums because they didn't have like stands. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. It was like they, they obviously shot, shot yeah. one way. But also, the the actual scenes of 
them play American football or were playing, class. Yeah, they were really good. Like that's as realistic as I've seen American football. Yeah, that was and, good. Uh, yeah. And some of the hits that they should, like, you're like, Jesus Christ, you can, f like, the noise. Yeah, yeah. You can feel them, like. So. See all the rugby players trying it now? Like, you know, your man's dropped out of the wheel squad? Yeah. Louis Zamet. Oh, he's going, yeah, he's going to NFL, yeah. Well, it, it's a program. Only, like, one person's actually made it true. Aye. And that's that, that that Eagles tackle used to play rugby, mm. like, for whoever, right? Uh uh, my Latana, my Latter or something like that. And they were just asking him, just, I just saw it this morning. He's like, oh, what, what's the more physical sport? Like professional rugby or NFL? And he's like, rugby's not even fucking close. He goes, the, and then he started laughing. He goes, the pads do none. <laughs> I was laughing. He goes, it's just different. It, like as much as thing, it's more controlled the rugby. There's obviously brutal hits, but he's like, it's not like getting a helmet into your sternum. It's not yeah. like oh, it, Jesus or, Christ, you know, yeah. it's high tackles. It's not you're, they're controlled around the waist and you're yeah. wrapping down. This is you can take your legs, take your head. Aye. He's like, that's. Can you clothesline like, someone in NFL? Nah, you really. can't clothesline nah, somebody. Nah. You have to. It has to. You, you'd have to hit them in some sort of way. Could like, you, they're could trying you, to protect people now. Could you but... RKO someone? <laughs> you tombstone someone? <laughs> that would just be done for <laughs> five star frog splash. <laughs> unnecessary roughness. <laughs> Figure four leg lock in the end. So <laughs> fucking Steelers Browns game. The guy pulled his helmet. He pulled Mason Rudolph's helmet off and started beating him with. Yeah, the that's like a weapon. Like I beat him with a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> a comment, bitch. He pulled uh, his helmet off. Sorry, fucking. That's amazing. Uh, right. Um, That's about it. What's the next film? Next film, right? So um, I feel we've had some pretty good films. We started off. Started well, off of the day twenty twenty four. That worries me the way you said uh, that. Yeah, it should. <laughs> I tell them not. Because next week we are doing the Notebook. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> With Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams. Oh, fucking excellent. The Notebook. I'm so happy. Behind every great love is a great story, have you seen Ryan. It? I've never seen this. I have. I am. Um, massively looking I forward. I cannot wait to you because I only remember one scene and the scene I remember is going to make up both of us. It's going to be the whole episode. I am I'm massively, massively looking forward to this. That's um, a great choice. Because... That's a change up. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, The Notebook next week. Um, yep, keep uh, spreading the word all about uh, the cuts and um, Next, once this goes out, I will be starting my tour that very Thursday. So if you hear this on the Wednesday, then I imagine there will still be tickets left to come and see me on the Friday, sorry, on the Friday at uh, the Limelight in Belfast and then uh, Cochlands in Cork on the Saturday and then Whelan's in Dublin on the Sunday. And then I'll fill in uh, the rest of my tell you what if you oh no, I don't have my phone on me. Um and then I'm in I'm like Manchester the week after that and yeah. Birmingham, North Allerton, Barnard Castle. I'll fill I'll fill it all in. They're all on the description yeah. anyway. Well I was meant to be going from uh from Denver to basically Perth to mm. Adelaide, but Perth's not happening now, so I do have like ten, like ten days in between now. All right. So I've now got ten days in between. Only got the fucking stuff today. So like I have now got like ten days in between Denver and Adelaide. So that's going to be good. Are you coming back here? So I'm coming back now for ten days in between oh, cool. Denver and thing. So I'll be away from like February thirteenth to March. 19th I or 18th yeah so if you I mean if you're in Denver go and see Ryan yeah, if you're in Australia. representing Scotland uh, Roast Battle Scotland god I had to so many people it was fucking Best. sick when I saw it it was like Ryan There's Collins like Ryan Scotland. Collins re representing Scotland and then had he pitched the, the Adelaide thing and it's best of the fest and has a Union Jack in the back <laughs> and I'm like it's a yes. nightmare so it's like Union Jack and that that poster representing Scotland I was like if Eugene sees any of these Oh, yes. Lovely. Um, so join us next week for The Notebook. And uh, just remember, before we go, my name is Willie. <laughs> Willie Beeman. I got the ladies. They're going to be creaming. I got my iron. It is steaming. <laughs> and my car is at the gleaming. It's in half, actually, Willie. And there's my coffee. I put the cream in. <laughs> Are you asleep, Willie? No, I'm dreaming. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>